Hi family, my name is Melita. If you don't know that because you're new here, If you're new, welcome, and if you're old, welcome back. So in this video, I will be showing you how I achieved the distressed bob full locks. I found the most easiest way to do it and make it look natural. I've been seeing this all over Instagram this summer, and I don't know what rock I've been living under that I have not given it a try. But finally, I did it. So if you want to see, then definitely keep on watching. I have a detailed video on how I part my hair. It should be out now or after this video. I had two packs of passion twist hair left. So that's what we're gonna be using. They're 18 inch, so I went ahead and cut it into half and I'm using two strands per wrap, all right? So I'm not adding extra hair to my hair, but what I'm gonna do is when I crochet the hair in, I will split it into half and use one side to wrap and the other side to add with my hair because I need to um have something for when it's time to take down so I do not end up cutting my own hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out and then measure it to my hair and make sure that the passion twist hair is slightly longer than my own hair and that's how I'm gonna still be able to achieve that bob that I'm going for. Now, this hair, I tried the um, thumb wrapping method. It's nice. I did some of it in the back, but on this one that I, I started doing later on, I like that better. At least for me, it still created the distressed or uh, butterfly look that I was going for without being so complicated. That's what I think. So as you can see there, I am wrapping everything fully. And then after that i'm taking a strand actually not a strand half of the um passion twist hair and what i'm gonna do now is start wrapping again but this time around instead of wrapping tightly i'm gonna go ahead and wrap and push it so i'm gonna be wrapping loosely so as i wrap i will push it up and that's how it creates the distress and butterfly look so halfway into doing my hair when i looked at it in the mirror i'm like do i really want to continue with this like i almost just stopped and took it out because i'm not used to my hair being this messy but with this um bohemian look the messier the prettier the style is but i haven't done something like this before so i'm like what is this where am i going with this but um I kept on going. I'm like, you know what? I already started. Let me just continue. So I kept on going. And
So once I got done, I'm looking at it again and I'm like, yeah, no, this ain't it. Nope, not gonna do it. But I started adding the carries into it and now uh, something just changed. I was like, whoa, it just became different. Funny enough, but adding a little bit of accessories just did it so i'm gonna go ahead and unravel the twist and use a piece of hair and pour the carry through it and then wrap it around to secure it and i'm not gluing it i just wrap it around and it's secured that way it been in for a couple of days nothing had fell off so yeah let me know if you have tried the distressed flax this summer or if you plan on trying it at all this 2020. <laughs> And listen, like I said, right after I got done adding the jewels, it was it was a whole different vibe. I was feeling a whole nother way. Like, what? I love it. Now I'm like, I don't want to take it off. But at some point, I have to. All right, fam. Thank you for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe when you do. Hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload from me again. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.